Let's see how many times I can skip this pebble on the water. One, two, three. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. I'll try one. The water's moving at about two knots, and the wind factor is... <laughs> Just throw it, Euclid. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, nice one. My scientific calculation worked. What's that? Near where your pebble went, in the middle of the pond. See it? Looks kind of pointy. It must be a rock or a tree branch? Looks kind of blue. I think we've got a mystery here. What if it's buried treasure? Buried treasure doesn't float. Hmm. I've got it. It's a mysterious pond creature. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. This is so cool. I can picture it. A blue pointy headed creature who lives in the pond and pops up when we throw pebbles. Did we wake it up? Well, we kind of have no way of knowing any of that for sure. But we're not sure that it isn't a mystery pond creature, right? And then a creature just popped up in the water out of nowhere? Yeah, that's what happened. Mm -mm. We aren't sure exactly what we saw but it was definitely a mysterious pond creature. Did it have pointy shark teeth? I didn't see up close, but maybe. I'm never going near the pond again. But we don't know for sure what it is in the pond. That's why we have to investigate. Yeah, I mean, it may sound like a silly story, but I really think there could be a giant blue two-headed creature swimming around in our town pond. Aha! I found him! I found him! Swinging on the swing! Whatever you do, don't look away from the little rascal, Gilroy! He's right here! Huh? Hey! He's not here! Where did Dion go? Sorry, Llama Llama. I promise I just looked away for a second and... I know how you feel, Gilroy. But don't feel bad. We will find them. Mm -hmm. The trumpet practiced and practiced and practiced some more. You sound great, Gilroy. Thanks. I've been practicing. And the trumpet play music for everyone. The end. That was a great story. And you read it so well. Way to go, Gilroy. I think I'm ready to read out loud. You sure are. And the pink kids all said hi. I'm yellow. I'm red. Hi, I'm green. <laughs> That's funny. You're reading so well, sweetie. And the green paintbrush drew and painted a door. Welcome to our new house, everyone. The end. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you, Llama Llama. And now we'll hear from Gilroy. <coughs> Okay, here it goes. Once there was a little trumpet. And the trumpet practiced and practiced and practiced some more. What a great job you all did. And it's so wonderful to celebrate the joy of books and reading. I'm not very good at crafts. Oh, but it's very easy to make a card. You just need glue and glitter, ribbons and paper, and lots of imagination. 
I'm not very good with glitter. And I'm not really a gluer. There are so many other things you can make here. Uh, we'll help you. Hey, there's clay. I guess I can make a sculpture? Yeah! <laughs> a very nice blob. Thanks, Nelly, but maybe I should try a different type of art. Looks like I drew another blob. I think I painted another blob. Hmm, maybe I should try something besides art. <laughs> Instead of making Valentine's Day gifts, we should play soccer, okay? I can't. I have gifts to make, and I've decided on the right thing. How about a bike ride or climb a tree? Fun for all! I'd say yes any day but today. I'm headed home to work on my gift. Maybe later, Gilroy. Same here. Sorry. I'm going to make my Valentine's gifts with Mama. Hey! You can come with me and help, Gilroy. I mean, if you want. Great! Maybe I'll get an idea of what Valentine I can make. Yes! So, what's your Valentine's Day gift idea, Llama Llama? <laughs> you get to write and draw things? And you have a cool chair? <laughs> That's all true. Okay, this will be fun for you, Gilroy. I need to choose a picture of kids playing a sport and words to write about them. Really? All right! I love the picture you chose, and I really love the saying you came up with. We'll help you make a goal. Thanks, Mama Llama. You know, your job is pretty fun. So, can I spin one more time? Let's go for it. Whee! 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 Huh? huh? Hey, can I try? I want to see if the pull the swings are on is made of iron or steel. The answer is yes. Uh -huh. I think I got it. This is one strong magnet. That is a fact. Oh no! Mrs. Owl! Speaking of who, who, who wants some dessert before bedtime? I, I do! Oh, what fun to roast marshmallows under the stars at night. <laughs> I forgot we were outside. <sighs> but we are, and it's pretty dark. Yeah, it is. But it's okay. The same stuff is around us from when the sun was out. Remember? <laughs> Tonight, I'm running a song called I Love My Mom Because. Want to hear it? Yeah! I love my mom because... That's all I got so far. It's fantastic! You all have such good ideas. It's so dark. And scary. Well, since it's so sunny and no monsters are around, I judge it's not dark or scary. <laughs> We're just pretending, Euclid. Ah. Hey, what if we have a real sleepover in the real dark? Hey, we could do it at my house. Yes! Oh, huh? but I'd better ask my mom. <gasps> ask me what, honey? <gasps> we want to have a real sleepover. None of us has ever had one before. <laughs> then I guess it's about time, huh? <laughs> How about tomorrow night? Sounds great. Terrific! Yay! Yeah! Hey! 